So he hit a tree, hit a tree basically, he dodged a dog and hit a tree and got a hip dislocation. Movie up in the air. <laughs> hit the big guys. Yeah, we can hear the, where's the brute force, man? You can grab them. Um, You got that other hundred over there? Yeah. Yep. So they don't enough to get it in. Uh, See if the legs yeah. match up. It, it, it looked like a pop. Yeah, it fell right in nice and smooth. You think it did? Are the legs matching up there? Pulses. Yeah, You got it in? Let's see it. It's in. I love that technique. That is my favorite. All right, so here. He was driving his car and he jammed on his brakes really mm -hmm. hard before he hit. So what happens is he pushed the push yeah. hit posteriorly. Yeah. So when you reduce it, remember the this is your acetatum, this is the femoral head, mm -hmm. it's behind it. Yeah. So you, the technique is you get on top of the bed, mm -hmm. their foot in between your legs and squeeze. Okay. Your hands go under their knees. Underneath. And you pull back to get tension. And you have to, the trick is you have to add that then across the midline. So it's a pull over, way. and then you lean back. And what happens is that disengages the femoral head from behind the acetone. It lets it come around and go in. And then you're just kind of guiding it in with that final push. And leaning back, using your weight to pull up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, sometimes if you don't, like, pull it across the midline, it's stuck yeah, back if there. if you don't pull across the midline, it'll be caught behind the acetone, and it'll never go. Yeah.